I'm here today to tell my story in hopes that by telling it, I can help provide similar stories in the future. On May 5th, a male patient lunged at me with a metal shank and, well, a mental health worker and I were trying to deal with this individual. Another female patient came up from behind me and tried to insert herself into the situation. To make a long story short, the male patient became combative. He punched me several times in the head and face and we, we fell to the floor. Then the female patient kicked me in the back and hip and pulled me by the hair and began punching me in the face and head and shoulder. She landed several blows before staff were able to respond from other units. I received physical and emotional injuries that day that I still live with today and that I anticipate will be with me for years to come. And I am not the only one. Last year, there were 425 assaults against staff at Worcester Recovery Center and Hospital. Injuries sustained from these attacks resulted in 4,102 lost days of work. That's over 11 years of lost days in, two, in 2014 alone. And we're just one hospital. You may look at the legislation before you and think that it's common sense. Of course, a hospital would assess the problems at the facility and look to make changes that could reduce the incidence of violence. Of course, a hospital would train its staff appropriately and communicate, staff, communicate plans effectively. Of course, a hospital would want to support employees who have been assaulted. Unfortunately, that's not always the case. My colleagues and I have repeatedly asked our hospital to work with us to address these issues, but we've mostly been ignored. That's why we need this legislation. I ask that you report this bill favorably out of your committee. While we may not be able to prevent every incidence of workplace violence, this legislation will go a long way in helping reduce the violence in our hospitals. Thank you very much.